Our maxed out fish here is nine meters long. That is absolutely ridiculous. For reference, the largest great white currently on record is deep blue. She was actually seen recently off the coast of Hawaii feasting on a sperm whale carcass, and uh, she's about six meters long. So she's impressive, no doubt. But our boy's even bigger, or our, our girl, I guess, technically. Sorry for getting your gender confused. But anyway, what's up, guys? And welcome back to some more Maneater. That's right, we're back, baby. So last episode, technically, we beat the game. We completed the storyline, beat all the main story missions. But there's still a little bit that we can do. If you take a look at our map here, you guys can see we still have unobserved areas. We've got little side missions and things we can do. We also have the infamy here so we could take on a few more bosses. And uh, I, I, I kind of want 100% this game. I feel like it's worth it. I'm hoping we get some more DLC as well eventually, but at least we can do a final couple of episodes. Now, I, I figured, you know, based off comments, you guys had a lot of suggestions. A lot of you wanted to see different builds of the shark. So we're going to build it out in different ways, get it maxed out, do a couple of little side missions or boss battles or whatever, and that's kind of how we're going to do things here since we don't really have, like, main missions to follow. So currently we have pretty much the maxed out bone set along with the bioelectric body. That's been pretty good to us. I mean, we can see the bone body here. Looks, looks pretty solid, but uh, I, I think we're really going to mix it up today. I think we're going to be going for the shadow set, which looks absolutely insane. So we've got shadow teeth here, which are terrifying. We've got the, uh, we don't, oh, we do have the shadow head unlocked. Whoa, he's got like some cool goggles on. We don't have the shadow body yet. We're going to have to unlock that here in a second. We do have the shadow fins, and then we've also got the shadow tail. So let's go ahead and do all these, and then we're going to have to upgrade them all the way. I'm going to try to max these things out. As you upgrade them, obviously they get more potent, like they're better, but they also look a lot better. So let's go ahead and max out the uh, the shadow fins here as well. Looks like it's taking a lot of the red DNA strand type things here. Whew, he's looking pretty good so far. Up to the head. Let's see. Uh, let's see if we max out the shadow head. See what we got going on. Oh my goodness, dude! Look at that nose. Look at what's happening here. What? Wow. And then we've got our jaw. So we're gonna go for the shadow teeth. Let's go ahead and upgrade these guys. It's a good thing we've been saving up a lot of our uh, a lot of our, our consumables here. Uh, look at that. Maximum upgraded shadow teeth set. So we've got everything except the body. To be able to unlock shadow parts in this game, you have to collect the um, the, the locations, like the, the points of interest. So if we go back over to our map, you guys can see uh, we have we have one area completely done for POIs. This one's completely done. This one's not done yet. This one's completely done. And then this one's completely done. You need five of them completely done to be able to unlock the whole set. So the last one we're going to do is here in the Fawtech Bayou. Figured that'd be kind of cool to return to where we originally came from. We actually already have these identified. So there's one back here. There's one over here. And there's one up here. We're going to have to get these three. That's going to unlock the body. We'll max out the body. And... Uh, and then we can kind of get on our way and, and take advantage of, of everything we've unlocked here. So it looks like, are we, are we going the right way here? Yeah, we're going the right way. Looks like we want to go this way to be able to get uh, the first point of interest. Why do I feel like we're so much faster with the shadow set, bro? Poor planning. Remember, when planning a cemetery, try to avoid high-risk coastal areas. Dude, that's got to be disgusting to have bodies get... Well, I guess they've been in the ground for a while. They're not really going to gonna disintegrate and start floating and stuff. But, wow. We look pretty sick. We it, it, the, the whole thing's not completed yet because we don't have the, the stealthy black and purple body to match it. But this, this, does, look, this does look pretty good, I'm not going to lie. And we are definitely significantly faster than we were before. Woo. Beautiful. So we're going to head over this way. This is the second out of three ones we're going to have to take on. It's nice that we've been pretty, um, pretty, pretty, you know, the Gulf Coast completionist the so far. The most diverse ecosystems on the planet. Yeah, it does. But, like, uh, throughout the main series, we were always taking on as much as we could find. If adults wants to perform cryptic rites to shadow forth the prophecy of the great old ones, <laughs> who am I to judge? We were, we were doing a pretty good job. We were, we were making sure we got as much as we could, and, and now that we're an end game and we need to go and find all these little things, that's actually going to end up uh, end up helping us out quite a bit, which is exciting. So let's go ahead and head this way. 
get through here. Whew. This is nasty water, dude. I definitely missed the, the bright blue turquoise waters and, and white sands of some of the other nicer areas. Take on this alligator. Oh, no. No problem, baby. No problem at all. Let me see. What does our shark actually do here? What do these, what do these things do? Um, this evolution drains the blood of prey as you bite, healing yourself in the process. 30% bite damage and plus 50 health on bites. This evolution strengthens your neck muscles, allowing you to whip prey around with ease and lunge at great speed. 10% lunge speed and 25% thrash damage. The fins, ooh, release a poison cloud that puts five poison counters on creatures within five meters, creates suffer at negative 1% speed, damage resistance and damage output plus 0.2 damage. Okay, that's, that's pretty intense. And then plus 20% swim speed and max speed out of the tail. Then tail whips, we, we inject poison as well. Interesting, dude. That is, that is crazy. Let me go ahead and hit this this musky with some. Hit this musky with some some good old poison. Hit this gator with some poison. Get out of here, bro. What are you doing? Who do you think you are? We got that extra damage on our our thrash as well. That is that is just crazy. So I remember this this. Uh, I remember this guy back here. I remember when we first started in this game, we could not get up high enough to be able to get this. Obviously now, the game has been changed. We couldn't even get up there when we first started, dude. reputations as wrestlers, alligators haven't mastered the nuances of scientific holds like the figure four. That is insane. It's crazy to think about how far we've come. All right, so we're gonna fast travel back to our base here. Looks like we got the one of the digestion, you know, here bonus things. Discover the miracle of self love. New organ, mineral digestion. We got something here. Protein digestion plus ten percent protein and plus ten percent health on feeding. Cool, but I'm not really interested in that. I want to check out. Oh, what the heck? We didn't get the shadow body. I wonder. I wonder if we have to. We might have to get to get all of them. We got 10 out of 10 there, 10 out of 10 there, eight out of eight, four out of eight. We got six out of nine here. Let's try to get the ones in here. I feel like this area out here is is pretty open. You guys can see back here, we did a lot of scanning. I think we kind of missed some stuff out here. So let's just, let's set an objective out there and, and see what we can find. Dude, we are, we are so fast. This is so awesome to watch. Look at how quickly that tail is just whipping back and forth. Oh, I love it, baby. Let me go ahead and uh, eat this guy. Just a couple of bites, no big deal. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna get to work here. I mean, looking looking for the stuff isn't the most exciting thing in the world. I'm trying. Oh, hold up, we got something behind us. Hello, beautiful. That's one out of three. What do we have? A downed plane. Forgotten war. Fort Clovis has long been a popular dumping ground for the military. Thanks to its lenient regulations and low tipping fees. <laughs> yeah, I feel like there's got to be more out in this area, though. For sure. So we're going to go over here. Looks like this is going to be a, a license plate. Can we get to that, or is that in the mountain? That's going to be in the mountain. Okay, I'm not going to worry about that right now, then. There's got to be... I'm thinking maybe out here to the right, there's a sperm whale over there. Some seals and stuff. Maybe up over here, too. It's kind of a cool thing here. Is this a volcano? You guys see all the stuff coming up out of it? Oh, oh, we got something on our left. Where's it at? Where's it at? Where is it? There's something on our left for sure. It's like right, right on top of us. It says it's... Is it up above us? Oh, it's above us! What is this? What? Let me get this. Let me get this. Gone fishing. Ice fishing is similar to regular fishing, but enjoyable only to upper Midwesterners. <laughs> That's actually really funny. All right, we got that. There's gotta be something out here. You can't tell me that there's just gonna be a big open empty spot. Like there's, there's gotta be something out here. So let's go down. We're just gonna scan our entire way. There's that license plate. I'm getting excited about that, Trev. Eat some groupers along the way. I'm surprised that's not something. That looks like kind of like a thermal 
geyser or something, you know what I mean? Let's see if there's any. I guess there's a bunch of them now. Might start making some new islands. Aha! There it is, baby. Ooh. What is this? Giant monsters, or kaiju, occasionally visit Fort Clovis to pregame before destroying more Fort Watsons. Interesting. Um, I don't, I still don't think we got, uh, I don't think we got the, sh the shadow body. We got another organ upgrade. Maybe you need to max out everything? I mean, we're, we're about to find out, dude. We, we've got one, one more area here that we're gonna have to, have to see if we can find anything. Uh, looks like we've got something right here. What is that? Oh, hello, beautiful. Nice. So this is our last one. Everything else we've got 100% completed no for the, thing as a recession the landmarks. Business, except for the frozen banana stand. Whether boom or bust, the demand for reliable, quality frozen bananas remains in constant. <laughs> what are you talking about, bro? Oh, I, I see one over here. Beautiful. Right next to the Easton Dock Yacht. Grab this guy, see what this is all about. Family fun. While homeless and itinerant, hobos will work for a living. They are not to be confused with bums who are sedentary and refuse to work. Kind of like my son, Jeff. <laughs> Dude, I'm not gonna lie. I, I, I would be homeless right there. I mean, obviously I'd never want to be homeless, but if I was gonna be homeless, that's where I would want to be. Okay, so we got those. We've got two more. I mean, we're just we're just we're we're just gonna kind of do big circles and and scan. Just kind of gotta be patient. Ooh, what is this over here? Could this be something? Maybe. Kind of looks like a landmark to me. Nope, it's just a thing. Sometimes you gotta check the map because like you scan and and it's behind you or something and you don't see it. You want to make sure you you catch it if it's there. You grab this sword just real quick. Get him with our shadow body. Oh, yeah. Too quick, baby. Anything down there? No. Oop. I see anything. No. Oh, wait. Hold on. See what I mean? Sometimes you miss stuff. Is that, uh, is that a landmark? I think that's a crate. Dang it! I got excited for a second. The bull oh, shoot! Demonstrates the importance of getting enough minerals in her diet. Beautiful. Got a little beach fiesta here. Believe it or not, <laughs> fire paid over twelve thousand dollars to sleep in these tents and listen to Swedish DJs for an entire weekend. Fire fiesta. <laughs> I love it, dude. All right, so we need uh, we need one more in here. I mean, I kind of feel like this area over here is looking pretty... Underneath the shark skin is a complex nerve network capable of assessing the strength and health of her prey. It's looking, looking pretty empty, but I'm not seeing anything. We could go back over here and check this. We also have... I mean, sometimes they like to hide them inside, things like that, so we could go check that out. All right, dude. You're, you're a swordfish. Calm down. Aha! I knew it, dude. We'll take it. They always like to put the landmarks in the little coves. And there's a license plate over here, so we're going to be able to grab that as well. Let me get a little, a little oxygen first. Let's go ahead and bite this thing. What's up with the pig head? If only someone had done their sixth grade reading assignment, perhaps this tragedy could have been avoided. I mean, that's kind of terrifying. Probably shouldn't be swimming here. So I'm going to take care of that for you. You won't be swimming anywhere again. All right, we got to... We gotta get up here. I'm just a shark on land, don't mind me. Unfortunately, these license plates don't do anything. You don't unlock any sets or anything. I think it's just uh, just simply for the for the bragging rights. So we we've we've got that done. I think that's everything. Eight out of eight, nine out of nine, ten out of ten, eight out of eight, ten out of ten, eight out of eight, ten out of ten. Okay. I'm gonna say where's somewhere that we actually have something to do. Probably back in some of these. I'm looking for something where we can like go do a side mission and eat some people or something. If not, I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick Prosperity Sands. I like Prosperity Sands because it's just, it's a beautiful spot. Maxed out, level 30 Shadow Megalodon coming at you. This evolution gives you the Shadow Form ability. It recharges when you bite or consume a creature. Shadow Form slows the world around you, also releasing an aura of poison each time you lunge. 
While shadow form is active, the world around you is slowed by half. 10% acceleration, max speed lunge, swim speed. On lunge, you release a poison cloud that puts two poison counters on all creatures within six meters. Creatures will suffer. Oh my gosh, dude, this is crazy. Okay, so we're gonna have the full set here. We gotta max upgrade this bad boy. Oh yeah, look at this. It's coming together, baby. There it is. Fully maxed out shadow. This is it, baby. Let me let me go ahead and I'm, I'm gonna put this on, on nothing so that it doesn't pop up and put a menu in our way. Dude, we look fantastic. Look at those teeth. So let's see, let's see what this can truly do here. When we activate our new body ability, it should just kind of hurt everything around us. Let's see what happens. Is this just gonna, gonna, wow, dude. Dude, we're killing things just by lunging. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Look at this. We're doing damage to literally everything around us. Oh, I love it. It seems like it lasts for a decent amount of time, too. Okay. That's that's gonna be interesting. I like it. I mean, really, the, the look is the key to me. Look at how we, we look like a fighter jet or something. You know what I mean? Like, we're just, we're built for speed. We're built for, for destroying anything and everything in our path. We're just built for eating. Like, the, the bone body was meant for a little bit more protection and, and, you know, extra damage against boats and stuff like that. This is just simply for eating, for taking out enemies, whether they're they're animals, whether they're humans, whatever they are. You're just going to be taking them out, is, is what you do with this thing. Uh-oh, we got a marlin here. Yeah, that's no problem. We can keep things in our jaws forever. Look at this. Wow! And obviously that's slowing them down. They're all okay. Opportunistic feeder and a solitary hunter. How did he get that far out of the water, bro? It's weird because we're moving at, at full speed, but all these guys are moving super slow, which is going to give us more opportunity to dodge and stuff. This would have been a great set to use while we were leveling up and fighting like the big, the big, you know, predators. Some of the big gators and orcas and stuff, it would have allowed us to, to dodge a little bit better. But, uh, all right, we need to really put this thing to use. I'm gonna say, let's take on, uh, let's take on a couple of, a couple of boss battles here. As soon as we take down these Makos and get our ability back. I feel like you earn the ability way quicker than anything else. Okay, so we just need to find a place. We need to eat a bunch of people. Sapphire Bay should be good for that. I feel like we've got some open waters here, lots of beaches, even got some rich people on yachts, that sort of thing. So we're just, uh, we're gonna start going ham and, and see what kind of trouble we can get into. Looks like we've got a few people on the dock here. Let's, uh, let's just get this party started, baby. What's up, fellas? How y'all doing? Just a shadow shark. The Imagine seeing something like this coming out of the water, bro. That would be insane. I'm gonna take on some hunters, dude. I love the speed. The speed here is outrageous. I'm gonna activate my active. Look at this. These guys don't know what hit them. Just hitting their boats with poison, hitting them with poison. Everything's hit with poison. I don't even need to touch your, your body to be able to kill you here. Nice. The cool thing is, is, is once we get through all the, um, all the infamy levels, so we, we take out all the, the hunter bosses, I'm pretty sure we'll have max, uh, max, what's it called? Uh, the, the bioelectric body, so we'll have to check that out, without a doubt. Got those guys there, just going from boat to boat, just take them down. Wow. Active is back ready, we've got some hunters in the water. And we just gotta kinda... No oh, body slam, that would've been sick. Let's go ahead and activate our... Our ability again. Look at this, dude. I'm just lunging at their boat and the all the humans inside are, are getting hurt. And I'm pretty sure it's doing extra damage to the boat too. Wow. All right. Well, you guys can see from our... Uh, our little, little level up in the top right, we're about halfway there. I'll let you guys know when we have a, a boss on our hands. Lieutenant Shannon Sims, look at her coming the in. Toast of the coast, Lieutenant Shannon Sims. Here we go. So I think uh, definitely the the best part. Where is she at? She's in there. Definitely the best part of this is the slow mo, like being able to being able to jump in the air. Look at this, and then like just kind of pick out exactly who you want to hit. Now she's kind of hard to hit because she's 
she is well fortified in that boat. All right, we're we're gonna have to we're gonna have to change up our our approach a bit here. We're gonna have to take her down from the boat as a whole because she's not sitting outside the boat. She's sitting inside the boat, so we're gonna have to take out the skiff before we do anything else. We also gotta hunt some of these other guys to keep our health up in the meantime. Definitely, definitely taking some damage. But yeah, like the the whole like next to you, people taking taking like poison damage is decent. But being able to move quickly and them not be able to react and like staying away from them and stuff is is way better. It looks like we might actually kill her with our poison here. There it is. The bull mm -hmm. obstinately digs in as the conflict escalates. I just love I love this slow mo, dude. I feel like I'm in an action movie or something. All right, so that's uh, that's one down. I'm I'm thinking we could call it there. I'm not too upset about that. Let's uh, let's start heading back towards our grotto and let's see if we can activate one of these new uh, one of these new you know abilities, glands, whatever you want to call them, organs that we unlocked. Looks like it's gonna be down here. Let's, uh, let's see what we got for that. This evolution increases how many mutagens you gain and health you heal by feeding. So that's gonna give us plus 10%. That's actually pretty solid. I added it and maxed it out. We've got it, uh, we've got it all gold now, which is pretty exciting. And uh, that should help us out with like this turtle here. Give me, give me your mutagens, bro. I want those, I want those blue crystal mutagens. I'm pretty sure that's what it's referring to. The seal's not gonna get away from us. We're, we're too quick, baby. So, uh, there you guys have it, man. Look at this guy. He is insane. The is over, and there will be an inevitable rush on dollar drafts at Flamingo Jones. Can't even get this grouper, bro. We just gotta time it right. Gotta get used to the new lunge and stuff. But yeah, this shark is nasty. I love it. I mean, I just the ability to move quickly and then slowing down time on top of that is pretty cool. You know, overall, the, the abilities that come with it, I would say, aren't as good as some of our other ones. But but being able to move quicker and dart around and avoid people and stuff is uh, is pretty, pretty dang useful. Plus the extra crash damage and stuff. If you're looking to do heavy damage and just get into some fights, this is the build that you want. So... Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. I'm going to see you guys in the next one. I would think the next one, we would probably take on the rest of the infamies. And then that would unlock our full bioelectric armor. So you guys could see we get the tail for taking out Mama Maybell. We get the head for taking out Percy Metcalf. And we get the, uh, the brutal muscles for taking out Robert Brunlett. So we take out those three, or we take out these two, really. We could max out our bioelectric and then take on... Captain Robert Brunlett last could be kind of fun. So uh, let me know what you guys think. Hope you guys enjoyed. Drop a like if you did. I'm going to see you guys later. I love this game, dude. I'm not ready for it to end.